Hey, what's up guys? My name is Eric and welcome to my channel, Eric Eats. So, I'm a beginner cook and that means I don't really know how to cook that well. I can make eggs, um, cup noodles, that's about it. So, I took to Google and I searched up beginner cooking recipes and I was like, okay, is it really easy to cook or not? Today, I'm going to be cooking garlic butter shrimp with quinoa and asparagus. First thing I found out about cooking, or not about cooking, but about buying the ingredients is they're super expensive. All right, so for this recipe, we're gonna use one cup of quinoa, two pounds of asparagus trimmed and cut into two inch pieces, two pounds of large shrimp, raw and deveined, half cup of pine nuts, which are optional, but we're gonna use in this recipe, three tablespoons of butter, four large garlic cloves crushed, one tablespoon of Himalayan pink salt, but we're actually gonna use kosher salt because I could not find Himalayan pink salt anywhere in the supermarket, and it shouldn't make that big of a difference. And last of all, we're gonna use alfalfa sprouts. All right, we're gonna start this off, and first step to making garlic butter shrimp we're actually gonna cook our quinoa first. It doesn't really matter how you cook your quinoa. Just cook it some way. Make sure it's clean. So we're gonna cook our quinoa. There's our beautiful quinoa. Look at this. Gorgeous golden whole grains. Delicious. Mmm, that is good. This is one cup of quinoa. Going in the rice cooker. You have that in there. Pour it in. There you go, one cup. Ratio for uncooked quinoa, for every one cup of quinoa is two cups of water. Of quinoa and water. That is beautiful, we're gonna cook this. There you go, close it up. Nice. So our quinoa is cooking while we wait for the quinoa, of course. We're gonna be moving on to our next step. All right, so we have our cup again. It's dried and half cup of pine nuts. Cup exactly. And we're gonna save the rest because this is expensive. I'm gonna add it in, I'm gonna toast it until golden brown or four minutes. So I'm gonna get my phone as a timer. Beautiful. Four minutes, timer is on. Um, we're gonna eat these with our um, shrimp and asparagus. All right, pine nuts are done. Turn off, turn off the fire. These babies, look at these pine nuts. We're gonna get a tablespoon of this, a nice scoop. That's on medium high, and it's gonna melt the butter. And then add half for garlic that we chopped up, and then stir for 10 seconds. So, I'm just gonna put this in, like so. Push it in, very warm. It's gonna melt, there you go. All in there. Oh, a little splash. It's okay. That's like definitely 10 seconds. I, you can see I didn't crush them very well. Some of it is, some of it isn't. So, just do a better job of crushing it than me, guys. Then we're gonna add our asparagus. All of this asparagus. Beautiful. Nice. That smells good. Oh, just add it in. And oh, sprinkle it. Half tablespoons. Tablespoon of salt. And add a little bit. at it. Get it all nice and even. Need two hands for this. Stir it for a little bit, then we're gonna cover it and wait five minutes. Covered. All right guys, it's about the time. Our asparagus is ready. Ready to go. Um, we're gonna take it out, put it in this popcorn thing. You guys can use whatever bowl you want. I'm making it for four, so we're gonna need a big container um, that our pine nuts are in. So I'm just gonna put these in here. All right, so we got our wok and our popcorn um, thing, popcorn container. All right, so next step, we're gonna put our shrimp in the wok. We're gonna get it to a medium high, like that. And we're gonna put two tablespoons of butter. Um, I'm just gonna put the rest of this in. And I'm gonna add all my shrimp, so all of that shrimp, and then sprinkle it with two 
Put a half tablespoon of salt. Put all the shrimp in. A lot of shrimp. That is a lot of shrimp. A half tablespoon of salt. Let's put in, season them nice and evenly, beautifully. Stir them occasionally and make sure they're not gray and they're nice and orange and they'll be good to go. To the shrimp and it smells delicious. It smells very cooked. Uh, most of it is cooked. Stir them around, the garlic. That looks good. Sprinkle them on top, like so. Our quinoa, from the very beginning. We have our quinoa, delicious. We're gonna add the quinoa to this. All right, we're adding some quinoa in. Look at that, beautiful. We're gonna taste it. All right, let's try this out. Beautifully cooked shrimp. So, a nice scoop. Sounds good. Mm. Mm. Alright. The pine nuts are good. Asparagus is delicious. Mm. Alright guys, all in all, finished up cooking our recipe right over there. Um, tasted the dish. It was incredibly good. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. Um, the price Price was kind of expensive. Total cost was like, it was this much. Um, kind of a lot though, it, it was a lot. Um, the quinoa is delicious. It actually soaked up a lot of the flavor of the shrimp. As I was like kind of mixing it up, the asparagus soaked it up. I did taste the garlic, even though I didn't crush it up properly at all. It's, and I mean, there's like big chunks that I like just didn't crush up properly. I didn't really take the time to. But I'm sure if you guys crushed it up, it would taste even better. But it did taste a little garlicky. Definitely tasted the butter, it was good. So, my ratings for the meal. The taste, I'm gonna give it out of 10. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 on the, the taste. It's pretty good. Um, cost, this was like the big downside. The cost of this was pretty expensive. For cost, I'll give it like a three out of 10. Pretty expensive meal. And last of all, creation of it, how easy was it? Pretty easy. Not too difficult. You know, as a beginner, I didn't really know exactly how to crush up the garlic. That was my biggest pitfall, my biggest roadblock. In general, the recipe was pretty easy. I'll give it a seven. So overall, we're gonna average it out. Overall, it's a six out of 10 recipe. Tasting the best, costing the worst. The price is crazy, but it was a good recipe. Um, hope my family likes it. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Like, comment, and subscribe.